Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at an awesome little project that I recently put together using the brand new Latte Panda Sigma and an Intel Arc A750 full-size desktop GPU. When it comes to the new Latte Panda Sigma, this is a very powerful single board computer powered by a 13th gen i5 Intel CPU. We've also got 16 gigabytes of LP DDR5 soldered to the board running at 6400 megahertz and it does support Thunderbolt 4. We've actually got two Thunderbolt 4 ports on this SBC, but this GPU is not connected over Thunderbolt. Now with this setup here, I've been getting amazing performance out of the Arc A750 GPU, and it's really because we're not using Thunderbolt 4 here. This is actually connected to the single board computer using an Oculink kit that I recently picked up on Amazon. And if you're not familiar with Oculink, that's totally fine. It has been around for a long time used in server applications, and basically what we have here is external PCIe over this smaller, thinner cable. And it works out amazingly on these single board computers, and you can get out really cheap putting together an Oculink dock. Now, even though this whole setup was pretty cheap, I used a couple parts that I had laying around. I did need to get the GPU and the board itself, so I kind of need a sponsor for this video. So I do want to mention that. This video is brought to you by URCD Keys. I've actually been using this site for a couple years now. They do offer Steam Keys, Origin, Uplay. They even offer Microsoft applications like Office, but the main reason that I use URCD Keys is for their Windows Keys. Right now, their Windows 10 Pro OEM key is $19.84, but if you use code ETA at checkout, you can get 25% off. And another great thing about buying from here is they do accept PayPal. I just did this build here. I need to activate Windows. I'm going to head over to my updates and security. We're going to go to activation. As you can see, I've got Windows 10 Pro, but it's not activated. So I'm going to change product key. I'm going to paste it in here. Choose next. Choose activate and Windows is now activated. We're ready to go. My warning is totally gone and basically that's it. They'll email your code once your payment is processed and that's basically it. If you're interested in picking up cheap Windows 10 keys for your new PC builds, I'll leave a link in the description. What I have here is something that I kind of threw together with a 350 watt power supply out of an old Thunderbolt dock that basically bit the dust on me. And with these Oculink kits, you can get them for about $36 on Amazon. It's going to come with your cable, an M.2 PCIe adapter, and our main board with a PCIe X16 slot, plus a connector for a 24 pin power supply in. It actually makes it really easy to create your own. And in my experience, especially using Arc and AMD, I have gotten so much better performance using Oculink than I do over Thunderbolt or USB 4. And at first, you know, I wanted to go with NVIDIA or AMD, but I figured, you know, I haven't done much eGPU testing with uh, Intel Arc. And since we've got a board here that has an Intel 13th gen CPU, I figured we'd go all Intel with it and see how this little thing performs. And I'll tell you right now, this thing is definitely putting some power down. So basically, I created this little dock with a 350 watt power supply, and we've also got one 6 pin and one 8 pin for power to the GPU. We're going to plug the Oculink cable into the main board. This is going to feed whatever we want to plug into, all of the data from that GPU. And uh, on the bottom of the Latte Panda, I've installed the M.2 Oculink adapter. Now this kit does come with a smaller adapter that would work fine with it, but I wanted to get a full size adapter. It's actually a 2280 adapter. This is PCIe 4.0, but unfortunately I could only get this to work on the Latte Panda over the PCIe 3.0 M.2 slot. We do have 4.0 and that's what I have the NVMe SSD plugged into. Tried everything to make it work and we could definitely get a little better performance over 4.0, but 3.0 is gonna have to work here, at least with this Arc Intel card. So I've got everything connected except for the GPU, and that's really the last thing we need to do here. We're just going to plug this into the PCIe X16 slot on that uh, board. We'll plug power in because uh, this A750 card does need one 6-pin and one 8-pin. We've actually got plenty of power here with this 350-watt power supply. And that's it. We now have an external GPU that's going to work much better than Thunderbolt 4 or even USB 4. Remember, all of the video is coming out of the Arc A750 to this monitor here. I'm using a display port. The Latte Panda Sigma has the i5 1340p. We've got 12 cores, 16 threads. We've also got 16 gigabytes of LP DDR5 running at 6400 megahertz. And of course, the Intel Arc A750 dedicated GPU. Now, uh, taking a look at GPU-Z, I'll go ahead and open it up real quick. We can see what kind of speed that this card is running at. And at first I got really discouraged because I was trying to use that 4.0 slot. I just couldn't get it detected. 
until I just kind of swapped it out to the 3.0 slot. And it would be nice to use 4.0, but we're running at 3.0 speeds here. So X4, 3.0, and we can max this GPU out. It's got a max clock of 2400 megahertz. And if we take a look here, we're at 2400 megahertz. We've got that A750. And by itself, I really do like this card, especially given the price. I've done a review on it. I put it in a much more powerful machine, but pairing it up with a little single board computer is something I've been wanting to do for a little while. And with the newer drivers that Intel has introduced for their Arc series, we're actually getting much better performance than we did when these were initially launched. And uh, we do have a little bit of tuning that we can do directly from the Arc control panel. We can take the maximum wattage up on the A750. We can also overclock, but I'm going to leave it at the stock clocks and the stock wattage because I'm really interested to see what this thing can do. And again, I do have to give it to Intel for updating these drivers. Uh, we've been getting some really nice beta drivers for these ARC cards that have really upped performance, especially in OpenGL games. And uh, the performance is actually night and day from the initial launch of these cards. The first thing I want to show you here is Forza Horizon 5 running at 4K Ultra. So we're running from this smaller single board computer. Remember our RAM and CPU are there, but we're using that Arc A750 for all of the GPU power here. And we can get well over 60 FPS at 4K Ultra with this on a single board computer. This is some pretty awesome performance, but this is an easier to run game. I completely understand that. This does work really well on Arc, Intel, or Nvidia, be it an iGPU or a DGPU. But going up to Ultra 4K on a little system like this is still pretty cool. Next thing I wanted to take a look at were a few GPU benchmarks, so I used 3D Mark, and first up we've got Night Raid coming in with a 40,964, looking pretty decent here. Fire Strike gave us a 20,844, and finally we've got Time Spy with the 12,045. Really up in the GPU performance, but we kind of expected that with the dedicated GPU connected to this single board computer. Next up, we've got Doom Eternal at 4K high settings with no resolution scale. You can check out the built-in metrics up in the top right hand corner, but I still have Afterburner in the left. We're getting an average of around 72 FPS with this game, and it's fully playable like this. Remember, we're at 4K, so we don't need to go this high. We could always drop it down to 1440 Ultra if you wanted to, but it looks good and plays great on this little system. Here's Fallout 4, 4K, Ultra. I knew we'd have great performance, but it is a bit hit or miss. Now, I am noticing a little bit of a bottleneck there with that GPU, given that we're only connected over PCIe 4 3.0, and every once in a while, we get really close to under 60. We're at 4K, Ultra, and even at 1440p, I'm seeing about the same kind of performance here. So what we've taken a look at so far is run over 60 FPS, but one game that was giving me issues with this little setup was Horizon Zero Dawn. I messed around with the settings a little bit just to see what we could do, and right now we're at 1440p high. The Latte Panda's CPU is kind of deadlocked right there at 30 to 35 watts. We could get more out of the CPU if I could up that TDP, but unfortunately there's kind of a hard lock here and I haven't been able to get around it just yet. But the final game I tested here was Cyberpunk 2077, and this was really impressive. I didn't run into any issues with this. We're at high settings, 1440p, and we're getting an average of 74 FPS with this game. I was sure going into this one, you know, seeing how Horizon Zero Dawn performed, we kind of run into the same issue. But as you can see, it's actually running really, really well. We're pushing that GPU pretty hard, right there at around 150 watts with it. CPU is sitting at around 85% utilization on average, but yeah, I mean, we can get well over 60 with this game at 1440p high settings. So overall, I think this little setup worked out really well. Now, it's definitely not for everybody, but uh, keep in mind, you know, this Oculink dock works over an M.2 slot, so it will work with mini PCs, handhelds, or even laptops. So if there's anything else you want to see, let me know in the comments below. And if you're interested in picking something like this up to mess around with, I'll leave some links in the description. You can pick up the Oculink kit for $36, but remember, you need to add a GPU and a power supply. But I'll tell you, I mean, going with a used GPU and a cheap power supply, sometimes you can get out cheaper putting that whole system together than you could just buying a Thunderbolt 3 dock with no GPU. So if you're looking for external GPU usage on a laptop, mini PC, handheld, or a single board computer, this might be an awesome option for a lot of people.
But that's going to wrap it up for this one. Really appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, let me know down below. And like always, thanks for watching.